Hey, what's going on everyone? Ranger Vaster. Today I'm reviewing the Mezco 112 scale Marvel Now Captain America. Here's the cover for the box. Cap shield. Captain America at the bottom. Marvel. You turn on the side. Cap shield. And you get all these cool poses for Cap on the back. Very cool. Now that I took off the cover, you can see the front of the box. And then you take it out. It's covered like by a magnet. Really cool. And then you can see Cap. It's like this uh, plastic covering it. Really, really cool. You can see everything that it comes with. American flag over here. Really cool. So yeah, let's open this up and give my opinion. As far as accessories, Captain America comes with a bunch, so bear with me. It comes with two pairs of fists, two grabbing hands, two shield holding hands. So like there's a space in between the thumb and the rest of the fingers. Very, very nice. Two shield holding hands, a thumbs up, a saluting hand or a karate chopping hand, and a pointing finger. He comes with two pairs of interchangeable heads. He comes with this Captain America head. Very cool. You can even see the gray part of the mask. Really nice. The wing, the face, everything. Very cool. And he comes with the Steve Rogers head. And for whatever reason, I just don't like this haircut. Like, I'm not trying to be funny. I just don't like it. The hair color or just the way that it's sculpted. I just don't really like it. But the face is really cool. Very, very nice. As far as this gear, he comes with two interchangeable pouches. This one is really cool like the straps and the buckles. Very, very cool. It also comes with the water canister. Very cool. And you can actually plug it into his belt. There's that one. And then there's just the regular pouch. You can't actually plug both of them at the same time, which would have made more sense, but it is what it is. It still looks pretty cool either way. It comes with two grenades. Very cool. Really like the detail on there. It comes with the combat knife. Really cool. And you can plug it into a sheath. Very cool. And he comes with this shield. And I like this a lot. Just be careful when you have it on the figure because it can drop. And I and it's painted very nicely. But I don't want it to get scratched because of the way it's painted. And then on the back you can see that he has the holding part. And then a magnet. And I'll get into that later. But this shield looks really, really cool. He comes with the bag to store all the accessories. And last but not least, he comes with the stand, and he has all the working parts. Very cool. Clip right here. It swivels, and you can just plug it out. If you want to have the shield by itself, and you can plug it in right here, so it can stand on the base. And then, the shield looks really cool. So, very, very nice accessories. Take a look at Cap. Man, this figure is so dope, dude. You know, when I first saw the figure, and um, I was like, you know what? I really don't care about this figure. And um, the images weren't really selling it for me. I was like, let me get it in hand before I really have a final judgment of this figure. And when I got it on Christmas morning, I was like, holy crap, this figure is amazing. And it's very unique in a way. You know, when Marvel now uh, redesigned Captain America's look, it was very unique. And I feel like they translated it very well on this figure with their own taste. And I feel like they did that very well. Um, this is actual clothing right here. So it's cloth and everything like that. And it works very well on this figure. But the scales have torn a little bit. You can see right there. So just be very careful when you're uh, posing this figure around. But you can see the straps right here. Very dope. Even more right there. The buckle, the star. Really cool, man. I like this head sculpt a lot. Very dope. I like the wing right there. Very cool. He's actually sculpted on there. Same with the wings. Very cool, man. And also, try not to keep this figure, um, try to keep this figure um, clean because it can get dirty, you know. And I like the belt. Very cool. You can actually store the grenade in there. Same with the water canister and the other pouch. Really cool. It doesn't have any dirt on the costume, but it's cool. I like the boots. I like the laces right there. Very cool pouches like the stitching that they gave it dreads at the bottom very cool the glove even gave the glove a pouch really cool man very good detail actually and the glove has a little bit of dirt really cool and my favorite part is the shield so the shield you can actually store it on the back and it's stored in by a magnet just like in the movies and you can actually put it on um, the wrist with the magnet. There's an actual magnet right here. Now, don't just have it like that because it can fall off. 
use this piece. It's a holster, I guess. You can hold it right there. And what I like to do is I like to have it in there and fold it in like that. And then do it like that. And have the magnet hold it right here. And it's very sturdy. Won't fall out at all. I like that a lot. And then with the Steve Rogers head, right, pop it off. Put it on right there. And that looks okay. You know, I'm still not a big fan of this uh, haircut. It makes him look really old. But it looks okay. But really nice figure, man. The articulation of this figure works really well. The head looks up, it's down, side to side, left and right. Then moves up, down, left and right. And all together moves up like that and down like that. Moves back and forth, up and down, butterfly joint. So with the bicep, double joint and double, glove moves. Wrist moves up and down, and it can also move left and right. You just have to switch the joint over. It can move left and right. He has a diaphragm that, that crunches forward, back, left and right. Swivels, ab crunch, and I can't tell if he has a waist swivel. Mine just does not want to move at the waist. I feel like he does, but let me know if your mesco cap has a waist swivel. It moves forward, back, out, so with the thigh, double joint knee, cast swivel, and it kind of doesn't move, but it moves. It's foot moves back and forth and has a slight ankle pivot, not really there, but it kind of works. And uh, the clothes don't really hinder the articulation, so really like this articulation on this figure. Here he is next to Mezco Batman. This is the only other Mezco figure I have. And I can't say I like this figure more than I like this figure. This figure is just amazing. I do wish it was a little more, you know, bulkier, but this figure is really cool and very promising for the line. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends, Marvel Now, Captain America, and this figure just takes a dump on this figure, man. You know, when this figure first came out, it had a lot of problems, dude. Like, the paint is just not there at all. The star got scratched super easily, and, um, you know, some of the parts were cool, but, you know, it just didn't really translate well from the comics. And this figure just does immediately, and it's just amazing, man. You know, this figure does have some problems, but not as much as this figure has. And he does have ankle pivot, a better ankle pivot than this figure has, but still, nothing compared to what this figure has. Here he is next to some other Avengers, and he is pretty tall, but he is the same size as Hawkeye. A little taller, but, you know, he's way taller than Iron Man. Maybe this figure is just short, but I'm sure you can find an Iron Man that works in scale with this cap. But he works pretty well with your Avengers, and, you know, compared to this Marvel Now cap, I don't know if I'm going to replace it because I don't want this figure to get dusty, but... I'm really considering it, man, because this figure right here, like I said, it's not that great compared to this one. I'm going to rate this figure a 9.5. This figure is amazing. You know, if you love Captain America, if you definitely want a replacement for that uh, Marvel Legends, Marvel Now, Captain America, pick this figure up. It's amazing. I did mention this before, but there is a variant. Um, it's from SDCC. It's uh, the classic Captain America with the wings sticking out. And I didn't like that version as much as I like this one. I didn't feel like that one translated as well as this one did. So, um, you know, make your decision. I like this one a lot better. And this one is cheaper. This one is $80. That one is like 110 I believe. But um, I have very high hopes in this line. You know, this line is doing very well so far. I would love to see him do a Hawkeye or a Thor. And, um, yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Peace. Crispy.